accuracy, strength, and balance. It's time to rise. This week, we shoot over to Prime Archery. We're building a compound hunting bow unparalleled to most. It's a bullseye, big time. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the outdoors. Bucks make us long for fall. Turkeys spark spring fever. And archery creates an intimate hunting experience. Currently more than 19 million Americans participate in archery or bow hunting. That is mind boggling. 19 million participating in a tradition that dates back to the Stone Age. The use of bow and arrow is one of the most primitive technologies of man. It's a simple design that has persevered through the ages. And now look at all the options. Today we're going to see how G5 Outdoors makes their prime rise bow. And to do that, we're taking aim at Eastern Michigan. Their headquarters are located in Memphis, Michigan, which is about an hour north of Detroit. This three-generation family business is known for producing high-quality broadheads and some of the most accurate target and hunting bows on the market. Michigan has like 320,000 bow hunters. I think it's more bow hunters than any of the other state. Prime's parent company is called Grace Engineering. The manufacturing business started in the 60s. Then in 2000, the archery division G5 Outdoors was born. They first produced broadheads and now have two brands of bows, Quest and Prime. In 2010, Prime Archery patented Parallel Cam Technology, a game-changing technology that's created a new level of accuracy. Several industry experts say this is the single biggest innovation to the archery industry in a decade. Well, right now we are producing probably the world's most accurate bow in the, the Prime bow. We've come up with really uh, industry-changing technology. It's been a dream come true in terms of our family's background to be able to produce one of the best bows on the market. So your flagship product that the engineers came up with this year? This is the Rise. This is a 33-inch axle-to-axle bow with an IBO rating of 335 feet per second. The four main components of the bow are the riser, the cams, the limbs, and the strings. The riser is the backbone of the bow. It's made from an entirely new alloy called 82X aluminum. As far as we know, we're the only ones that are using that particular alloy. It is by far the strongest, stiffest alloy that we can use. It's the foundation that the bow is set on. Prime says the rise is so strong that it can withstand the weight of an SUV. It's a little hard to actually measure the strength of a bow. We actually lifted up this SUV and be able to set it back down and actually shoot it, showing that it did not warp or bend. The cams use 6,000 series aluminum and the limbs are entirely made of composite. What we do to our limbs are very special. This composite is made out of glass, fibers, and epoxy. The bowstrings are also produced on site, 
with a material called BCY452X. We use the very best. It's not the cheapest. It's the same material that the military uses for bulletproof vest. Up next, it's time to shed some weight and rock and roll as we start our Prime Rise Bow Build. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Nutrisource, Nordic Components, Banks Outdoors, and Suzuki Marine. Archery is located in Memphis, Michigan and has two facilities, one for manufacturing and the other for assembly and shipping. Each building is 65,000 square feet and the majority of this area is devoted to machining. These CNC machines have about 40 different tools that turn by turn, tool by tool, mill the risers and the cams. And it takes one lean, mean machine to tackle the 82X aluminum in the riser. So the first step is machining the riser from 10 pounds down to just two. And the CNC machine that does that is pretty much like Weight Watchers. And there's four different operations that we go through to actually remove 80% of that metal. The coolant that's in there acts as a lubricant to get our tools to last as long as we can. There's a little bit of oil in this water spray. This is the aluminum that's used for the cams. Then that is placed into this machine, much like the ones that we saw for the riser. What will it come out looking like then? Well, hopefully, if it's good, <laughs> uh, after about a half hour, it'll look like this. We're taking about 90% of the material off. The limbs use a different set of tools and techniques because they're made of composite. This process is called grinding. The goal is the lighter the better without compromising strength. When complete, the entire bow will only weigh 4.3 pounds. So look at all the scraps from the machine. Lou, there's a lot here, but what do you do with these? When we're done, 90% of it is turned into aluminum scrap. But what we do is actually put it in a machine behind us, and that machine actually compresses it into a hockey puck. Hockey puck? That's what we call it. It kind of looks like a hockey puck, although it's made out of aluminum and then these hockey pucks then are sold to the scrapyard and we generally get about twice as much money for them. You ready for some hockey? It's a little heavier than your normal puck. Come on, Lindsay. <laughs> The noisiest part of the process is tumbling. We're trying to remove the micro burrs from machining. As these stones rock and roll, they buff away any remaining flaws. Every single part that we make requires a different kind of a recipe for stones. The risers then head to a guy named Buck. I've been here a while, yep. How long is a while? 44 and a half years. <laughs> powder coat versus liquid paint is much more durable. So what do we do with the risers now? They go into the oven. The oven's set at 400 degrees and they have to bake for 15 minutes and that cures the paint. You want to push it in? Oh, straight ahead. Oh, it's kind of very hot. Shake and bake. Yeah, there's a timer right over here. So, 
They put me in charge of watching the oven. We've got 15 minutes. I kind of feel like I'm in a timeout. Oh my gosh. Blue light special. As the risers cool, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we find out what makes this bow so unique. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Prime Archery is known for their industry-changing parallel cam technology. Their Rise Bow is their flagship product. Its two updated features are an entirely new alloy for the riser, called 82X Aluminum, and a Sherpa system for attaching a quiver and to mount your action cameras. That's so cool. Everyone is doing that now. I think they all want to capture the hunt uh, with their own camera, and so very awesome that now the mount is right on there. We're about halfway through the construction process of the Rise Bow. After the blue light special, it's time to paint and sublimate. Whether you're a bow hunter or whether you're a target archer, I think the first thing people look at is color. Color trends constantly change. Right now, black, white, and purple are in. And camo, of course, is the number one seller for hunting. I generally use a lot of Realtree, Mossy Oak, Optifade camos. And I'll guarantee you, after 10 years of our bows, you are not going to wear that paint off. Sublimation is different than dipping. It imprints the camo design deep into the paint on the risers and the limbs. Okay, Tina, why are we doing that? Well, because I'm going to show you about the durability of our process versus dipping. Okay. Dipping, you can scratch off, it gets nicks on it, everything else, our process. You can do all that and it turns out good. It's not like your typical paint that would just chip off. Yeah, can you see it? I know it's camo. It's right here. Mickey the limb. Got it? This is where we start with our string making process. We use 452X. It's a benchmark that all the strings are actually measured to. One of the things that's most important for string is that since the strings are actuating the cam, you want to make sure that the string doesn't stretch. Because if it stretches, then it throws the timing off. 24 strands of high quality BCY material make up one string. Those strings are measured under 100 pounds of pressure. If they're not quite right, we can actually add or subtract a rotation of the string to make sure that it's correct. Next, piece by piece, the bow is born. First, the parallel cams are married together. The cam was designed by my son, Nate. When you pull the bow back, the cables that are on that go through some gyrations. So he came up with a cam that adjusts the pressure. Then in final assembly, decals are placed on the limbs. Bearings, axles, and special bushings are installed. And the bow is strung. So the strings look good, but they told me I have to come over and visit Josh before I can have my bow. So what we do here at Prime, we're really proud of it, is we cycle the bow 100 times before we ship it out the door. What that does is it settles the strings into the tracks on the cam. So everything's in line, you don't have to worry about anything popping out when you go to shoot it. And also it really helps cut down the time of how long it takes to tune the bow and get it grouping in for you. So how happy are you that you have this machine to do those 100 cycles? I mean it cuts down on my daily workout, but it definitely <laughs> makes it easier. Up next, we continue to test and tune the rise. Plus, it's bullseye or bust. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Central Boiler, Mountain Dew, Running Aces Casino and Racetrack, B&W Trailer Hitches, and by Game Fair.
Michigan is passionate about bow hunting and the outdoor industry. There is a rich tradition here going back into the 30s and 40s because of the white-tailed deer herd that we have here. The father of bow hunting, Fred Bear, got his start here. And Prime Archery's headquarters are located in Memphis, Michigan. Well, I would say probably more than half of our employees are involved in one way or another uh, with archery and they enjoy being part of the manufacturing process. Today, Made for the Outdoors built the Rise Bow. But before we can box it up and ship it out, it has to be properly tuned and tested. I'm Tommy Tuner and I tune the bows here. Tommy Tuner, as they call him, measures the weight, checks the cam lean, and makes final adjustments. Our bows are designed so that the string is in right in the middle of the riser. So when we launch that arrow, it is very little side-to-side -side movement. All done, all tuned, ready to go get quality check. So the last thing we have to do to the bow before it goes out the door is we shoot it through a chrono. We shoot every single bow here before it goes out the door. This is a chronograph, measures feet per second. When I shoot this arrow through here, it'll tell me how fast it's going. Most compound bows have an advertised speed of around 300 to 340 feet per second. The Rise Bow is tested extensively to make sure its IBO is at least 335 FPS. It's a final check to make sure that everything got assembled correctly. Our Prime Bow, that is a dealer only bow. To Europe, to Asia, in fact, one of our largest distributors now is in Asia. So this is Brian, and he is the bow guru around here, and you're gonna help me get fitted? Yep, we're gonna set it up for you. Get the draw length set and, and go from there. And then touch your nose, bring your face right down and touch your nose just like that. Can you see here? Yep. Can you see here? Yep. You got the whole view? Yep. Perfect, that's where we wanna be. So now that we set your peep sight, what yep. we're gonna do is tie it in so it stays the same spot every time. So if you're hunting or anything like that or in and out of the case, it's never gonna move on you. And so for those of you who don't know, your peep sight is what you look through first, and then that narrows it down so that then you can actually see the pin. If you've ever tied a fly, these are the same knots. Okay. So pretty easy. Well, now the bow's all yours. It's ready to go. Impressive. Well, this is Patty, and she is a pro shooter for Prime. I'm the beginner, so you will see I am very, very close. Once you get the basic fundamentals and do everything repeatedly the same, you'll move back really fast and pull back. One of the things that you're always going to want to have as many points of contact as possible that lets you be consistent. Nose on the string, V in my hand, tucked into my chin. And you're lining your peep up with your housing. Nice, see? It's not bad. Nice. Bring your body straight. Straight. So now we're ready to move back. 15 yards now. Oh yeah, so look at that. Look at both of them. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that rocks. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. We made a special target for you. I'm ready. We're going after the Made for the Outdoors logo. I won't take out the camera. I, pro I won't take the camera out. We'll go for the D. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> and this isn't TV magic either. I really did this.
Here we go, final arrow. Keep it in the bullseye. Gotta be the bow. Awesome groove. Look at, look at this. First time shooting, that's awesome. You shot a vein off your arrow. That is awesome. <laughs> New best friend, the extension of the left arm. <laughs> Prime archery hit the bullseye with the rise bow. Made in Michigan and made for the outdoors. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, you know how tough this is? It's like getting a workout. Well, oh. I gotta get my hockey skills down. There we go. So what are we doing right now, Tina? Well, what we're doing is we're showing the durability of the <laughs> You guys don't have to keep doing it. Yeah. Uh, you can actually stop and talk. I can't, I can't do it. Talk over me. 